Hey guys, today we're going to be learning how to make an L LCD screen or use an LCD screen. I'm going to show you an LCD right here. And there are two types of LCDs that we're going to be that we can use. But if you look at them, they don't actually look much different. But when you turn them over, one has a chip and one doesn't. We're going to use the one without a chip because with the chip, this one actually has errors sometimes, so we're not going to use it. And this one's the one that has more complicated wiring, but we just deal with it for now. What you'll need for this project is an LCD, a breadboard, a 9 volt battery pack, and the Arduino. And I have the LED board wired up from the last video, which is an Eagle CAD, and also a potentimeter wires I don't have much around but let's just put some over here and we're gonna use the uh, 9 volt battery because sometimes we want to use it on its own power and we can just move it around whenever we want to we're going to we have to use LCD because we have to explain text if you look it can display two lines of eight characters so that is, or yeah, two lines of eight characters, and you you plug in wires over here on this header. The, we we are going to need the potentimeter because we use a potentimeter to adjust the brightness of the LCD, and by turning the knob, we can adjust it from very dim to very light. And right now, let's wire it up. So I'm gonna sw switch over to the computer to show you the pinout. Okay, here I have a diagram of how the LCD should be wired up. If you see right here, 13, 12 and 11 are wired up to these two. We're gonna start by wiring up VC, all the VCCs and all the grounds. So that's these two end pins and these two end pins. And be sure to wire up this one to ground this one, the outer ones to ground, and the sort of outer inner ones to VCC. This one also will go to ground. Let's wire it up. Let's wire it up. First thing we're going to do is take the LCD and plug it into the breadboard. It should fit. And just plug it in like that, because if you try doing it this way, it will not fit. So you must do it this, this way. And we'll start by wiring up the grounds, and we'll wire up the GND to Arduino. So let's take oh, a yellow wire, put it into the blue terminal. Let's take the green wire and put it, attach it to 5 volts. Is having a bad day, but and attached to the positive terminal. Let's link it up so the outer ones will go to ground. You can attach it anywhere on the terminal. And then the inner ones will go to VCC. Well, now let's go back to the pin diagram. And we will wire up the potentimeter. Next up, we will connect the potentimeter. The potentimeter goes to the third pin right after the VCC. We are also going to wire up this ground. I'm sorry because I'm sorry that we forgot about wiring up that ground. But we will wire it up. It's two pins away from the potentimeter. Also, one side of the potentimeter goes to VCC and the other side goes to ground. It does not matter which side. This is not, like, um, polarized. 
Let's go wire it up. Let's wire up the potentimeter. Let's take the potentimeter, stick it somewhere away from the LCD. Yeah, these pins are short, man. But it fits in. Just like that. And we'll take one wire and wire up one side of the potentimeter to VCC. It does not matter which side it is. It's not polarized, I'm just saying. And the other side to ground. And then the middle one to the third pin on this, on this side, on this side, the third pin on this side. So right next to VCC, right there. And then we will connect up the one that's two pins away from the potentimeter to ground. The next thing to do is to wire up it to the Arduino, like the digital pins right here. Let's do that and we're gonna go to the computer for the pin out. Let's connect up the Arduino pins. We see pin four, which is right next to the potentimeter, is connected to 12. The 11 is connected to the one after the ground, which two pins away from this. We're gonna connect those up first. These are gonna be much easier. Let's connect them up now. We see pin 12 on the Arduino is over here. I'm gonna connect it up like that and connect it to the one between the potentimeter and ground. I'm also going to take another wire, a really long one, which do I have? I'll take this one. And I'll connect it up to 11, right after the ground, or two pins away from the pin we just connected. Let's connect up the rest, which are pin 5, pin 4, pin 3, pin 2, on the Arduino. Now let's connect up pins 5, 4, 3, and 2. Pin 5 will go here, pin 4 will go here, pin 3 will go here, and pin 2 will go there. Let's connect it up. Let's wire up D5, D4, D3, and D2. We're going to start with D2 because it's right next to the VCC. Let's plug it in. And I will put it in to the 2 right here on the Arduino. Then I'm going to take another wire. Attach it to the next pin that's right next to the D2 pin. And then connect it to D3. Then D4. And then D5. Let's see if I got a long wire right here. Got one. Plug in the last one and then we can start coding. Okay, got it plugged in. Now let's take our USB cable and we will plug it into the Arduino. We're only gonna do this temporarily because we wanna take, we wanna put in the 9 volt battery if we don't want to operate on some power and get your computer and plug it in. Now let's program. Now let's program the LCD. To program it, you need to open up Arduino, and, as always, and it has some source code. And here's the hello world for the um, LCD, and you can find it here by going to examples, liquid crystal, hello world. And what it does is, at first it prints hello world, and then it prints the amount of time has passed since you have started it. Let's upload it and we'll see what happens. We're going to go to the camera right now and I'm going to upload. Here is the LCD and unfortunately you cannot use a 9 volt battery to connect it up because then it gets all screwed up. But I'm going to show you the text. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly. Right there. I know it's blank because the 
And right now it's displaying random text. So I guess I have to keep my computer on and I'll upload it again. That way it says, hello world, and it counts down from zero. And you can leave it on for like a really long time. Right now this is very fady because the potentimeter has some problem issue right now. And that's pretty much how it works. Let's go back to the computer and we're gonna do another project with the custom character. Let's do the custom character. We have a hello world right here, but we can find the custom character right here in examples. Liquid crystal custom character. And again, we have this stuff and we can just ignore it. And if you you can look at this code if you have room if you want to and um let's just run and I'll show you on the camera. Let's go over to the camera right now. Here is a custom character. If you look at it, probably can't see it that well, so I'm gonna zoom in for you. If you see that little guy doing jumping jacks, that is a custom character. So guys, this is the end of the video. And with the LCD, you can take things much farther, farther, and Okay, it disappeared again, but who really cares? Um, you can take things much farther, farther, and one other thing that you can do is buy a TFT display, which is a touchscreen color display that you, is available on Adafruit and on eBay, and you can type text on that too. And you can also s sense when, where the touch screen has been touched so guys thank you guys for watching this video and i hope you see it in my other videos bye